Next part of the video, we're going to talk about our head lever. Another way to break in flat. So the first one, we're using our tight waist chop, 180 off our whistle start, and now we're getting to our angle hook. And the same thing with this first one, head lever, we're also getting to our ankle hook to start the move. So I'll just talk about it real quick. There's two different ways I can break the guy down once I get my ankle hook. I've got to have a plan to beat this arm and this side of his body, and I have to have a plan if I'm on this ankle hook to beat this side of his body. So the first one I showed you was this hand becomes a post to break down. The second one, or I'm sorry, the first one actually, we used just tight waist chop, 180 until we broke them flat, post. And now we're gonna use a head lever to get this arm out. So that's three different ways on this side of the body. Again, setup is always key, and the whistle start's always key. The first part of my series, it's always all about getting to the ankle hook first. So here we are, ankle hook. Now, for my head lever, instead of making this a post, Instead of knee scissoring them down, tight waist chopping them, we're gonna take this hand, instead of chopping, it's gonna slide right down to the front of the wrist. And again, I'm using my ankle hook. I just wanna be crystal clear. You start doing the head lever and all of a sudden you forget about the knee scissor. We're still using the knee scissor, we're still using the ankle hook, we're always using this tight waist hand. This tight waist hand is always pulling the guy down. So again, Slide down to the front of the wrist. My head drops to the back of the armpit. And there's several ways I can get to this. So the first way is if he fights it hard, I'm just gonna attack this arm. If he's, if he's real strong here, that's when I'm gonna start just attacking this arm and pick it up first. But even when I pick it up here, I'm still not, he's not down yet. I still have to use this tight waist and I'm still even using my knee scissors. This left me in front to get down even more extended and pull down hard to break them flat. So the first way you break them flat with the head lever is if he fights it hard. So I'll just start here, right? I'm sliding down to the front of the arm here and I'm just gonna drive until I can get the arm up and then I'm gonna knee scissor, pull this hip down, break them flat. A lot of times when I try to do this, they go to their elbow. So I try to go to this head lever, and he goes to his elbow like this. So what I'll do from here is, I'll start pushing his arm forward, and it makes him come back and post. Yep, makes the arm come back and post, and then I go right back to the head lever. So if it's down on a forearm, start pushing it forward, comes back up, attack. And look, when I'm pushing this forward, always pushing this knee back, scissoring the ankle, Pulling down with the tight waist. Arm comes back up, attack. There's no way he can keep his arm here. I should be strong enough to get his arm out. But I still am gonna have to knee scissor and pull the hip down on the good guy. So I'll show you without talking. This way, see this way. One more direction change. Tight waist chop, 180, head low. 